So welcome to another HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at absolute positioning. Now what absolute positioning is, uh, well we've got two types of positioning in CSS. We've got absolute positioning and relative positioning. Now by default CSS goes to uh, relative positioning which is basically where all your items are stacked and basically it's in the name all the positions are relative to each other element on the page. So basically, if you've got one element, that is going to kind of determine where the location of another element is. So if you've got a div along the top, it's sort of going to push the next div. So for example, if we've got this box one at the top, and this has got a lot of styling, uh, if it's relative positioning, it's going to push this one down. So what absolute positioning allows us to do is uh, kind of position everything exactly where we want them, to the pixel that we want them. So you can have divs overlapping each other, for example, or anything overlapping each other. You can have things just randomly placed on your page. If we were to use relative positioning, we'd have to use margins and paddings, uh, which would kind of get messed up based on the location of other items. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some basic styles to these. So we're going to add box one, and we'll set a background color of, uh, would help if I spelled background right. Uh, we'll set it to a background color of red and we'll set a width of 200 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. Now I'm just going to copy these and paste it below and this will be box 2. And I'll give this a color of blue just so we can determine which one is which. So now if I refresh this and bring it up here, you see we've got this red one and this blue one that are stacked on top of each other. Now this is because of uh, absolute positioning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go position, position, and this will be absolute, and same for this one. Oh. Save that, refresh. Now you see we just see a blue one. Now if I were to go into Chrome and inspect the element here, you can see the box one and box two are both there, except one is just hidden. So the reason they're hidden is because this blue one is overlapping the other one and let's have a look why so the blue one is box 2 and box 2 is lower down now the ones that are lower down always show up on top so if you think about it when you're in like PowerPoint or something and let's say you've got two pictures you know you can send one to back one to front so the ones that are at the front are at the, at the bottom of the page and the ones that are at the top are at the top of the page so what we can do is we can basically locate, so let's say what we'll do is we'll put this blue box 400 pixels down and 300 pixels in. So the blue box is box 2, so we can go top, uh, I can't remember what the measurements were, it was like 400 pixels, and left 300 pixels. So what this basically means is the very top of this blue box, there is going to be 400 pixels between the top of this blue box and the top of the page. And the left one is basically saying 300 pixels between the very left of this page and the, the, the very left of this box and the left of the page. So now, if we save, save that, refresh, you can see this blue box has now been moved here. And this red box is basically not determining this blue box's location. So we can place this wherever we want. Now let's move the red box. So we can do it the same way, top, and I'll put 1,000 pixels in the top. Oh, not L, it's supposed to be a semicolon. And on the left, we can do uh, 800 pixels. So save this, and we'll run it, and refresh. And the red box has disappeared, that's because it's moved lower down. And you see the red box is down here. So we can lay these out however we wanted to. So uh, this is good if you want to basically have a bit more freedom with the way your site works. But I would still recommend using relative positioning for the bulk of your site. So I wouldn't recommend building your entire site with absolute positioning. Because let's say Sunny decides to downsize one thing, let's say you just downsize your header, you kind of got to change the relative positioning of everything else, not the relative, the absolute positioning. With relative positioning, you'll all move around to fit. So that's pretty much it to absolute positioning. Um, so yeah, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.